everybody, this is Dream, and today I'm going to be reviewing Thunderflash. Thunderflash is developed by Seep and published by Rattleactive Games. Uh, the game, we don't have a price for it yet, but it does come out uh, on February 26th of 2021. It is $5 on Steam, so, and it's a Rattleactive game, so it's going to be somewhere between $4.99 and $9.99, as like most games, probably. Um, so, what is Thunderflash? Thunderflash is a single player or two player run and gun game inspired by old uh 80s games like commando <laughs> um if you played those old 80s games like commando and others then you will definitely feel at home in this game uh this game is very short uh it only has it has well five levels with five in under levels in each one and uh, there are lots of different types of enemies and traps and bosses throughout the game and different weapons that you can find uh, as you progress. Uh, like I said, it is pretty short though, uh, so it's uh, definitely not uh, um, something that's going to take a long time to beat. I think I beat the entire game in under 20 minutes uh, just by kind of going fast through it. But it is interestingly fun because it is a old school uh, 80s game, kind of. Well, it's based... It's built to be a homage to this, I think. Um, it's definitely not a game that came out back in that time, but it's because it actually kind of works properly. <laughs> As it's supposed to. Uh, the hit detection is in the, in the, in the 2021 type of situation, but uh, the game is inspired by those old 80s games and plays very similarly. Um, <laughs> there's not actually a lot that's there's nothing wrong with the game actually uh, there's actually some good music in the game too if you like those old 80s uh, music then you're gonna like the music in this game as well um, <laughs> it's just a it's just a fun little run and gun style game uh, like I said it's, too, it's it needs to be longer um, but it actually does have some extra modes the survival mode and boss mode um, I did play survival mode for the achievements, and, uh, <laughs> it's, it's kind of interesting. I actually, the first time I came through it, I got 98 kills, and the achievement is for 100, so I had to do it again. But it, it, it was actually kind of fun it's in its own way, uh, because when weapons will drop, it'll make it easier for you to kill enemies. It just goes until you die. I mean, that's very simple. Um, man, there's not a lot else I can say about the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's too short, but it's okay. For a rather lack of game, it's actually one of the better ones they've played. Uh, so I recommend it from that perspective. If you're on the rather lack of leaderboards, you're gonna be able to get 5,000 pretty easy, and you're gonna be able to, uh, to, uh, actually enjoy this one as opposed to a lot of the rather lack of games that aren't nearly as fun. Um, pretty much everything else I got to say about this is that, uh, if you just want it for the achievements, it's easy, uh, and you can get that done in under 30 minutes, probably, if that's what you focus on. Uh, there, there are lives in the game, but they actually don't matter, because all you have to do is get a, uh, area select and choose the area that you last died on. So you can kind of just run through as fast as possible if you just want to get through. But I do recommend actually playing the game uh, and killing all the enemies just for the fun of it because it is, like I said, an homage to old Ace games and it definitely puts you back into that, that arcade style. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about the game. Um, I'm going to give the game a rating of a 7 out of 10 because it's better than every Radalaka game that exists and it gives you some of that uh, nostalgia for those old 80s games and it actually works unlike a lot of old 80s games uh, but uh, it's, you know, it's an easy achievement game but it's nothing special like you're not gonna you know, if there's nothing in this game you haven't seen before and uh, it works well though so that, that pretty much sets it apart oh I also forgot to mention you can actually play local co-op in this game which I can't play well, not easily at least, because I don't have, because of staying by myself most of the time, but, uh, if you have a friend that you could potentially sit down and play it with, then that would be fun, uh, 
As usual, I would say that it is annoying that they don't have online, but I don't see any point in not in this game, to be honest, because you know, it doesn't need it. But it's a fun little game regardless. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Uh, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. Make sure to check it out, and have a nice day.